Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create rough edges on a vector shape that you make in Photoshop. There is a filter to do this directly in Illustrator. It's called the Rough and Filter, but this is a very specific method you can use if you're working with vector shapes or paths in Photoshop. So on the left, you can see a nice, smooth, perfect vector shape that uh, you can see like there's control points. This is a vector. You can also see that this here is a vector. It's very complicated, has lots of these little control points, but it is in fact a vector. Now I'll show you the steps to do this. So I'm in my layers panel. I'm just going to close this little thing that I made here just for demonstration sake. And we'll start with a clean vector. So just before I begin, I am on a Mac. So all my keystrokes will be Mac specific as I'm describing them. And you can just translate them to PC. So I'm hitting command and then I'm going to click the vector shape in my layers panel and that loads it into a selection. Now I'm going to hide that layer and create a new solid color fill layer from that selection. So the next thing that I want to do is select the channel mask on that layer. That's the little black and white thumbnail that you see in your layers panel there. We're going to go to filter and then pixelate and then crystallize. And then you'll see a preview of your channel mask there, larger. And I'm going to go for a more subtle effect. So I'm going to bring this down to uh, maybe six or seven, something like that. It may be different depending on how big your image is. So I'm going to hit OK. And so right away, I have this kind of roughened effect. But you'll see it's aliased and kind of blurry. So the next thing that I want to do is go to Filter and then blur, and then Gaussian blur. This will make sense in a moment. I'm going to choose something like, I don't know, on this one, it's going to be like 1.1, 1.2 of a radius. And then I'm going to hit OK. So that looks really blurry right now. But what this does is it takes the edge off what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to go to Image, and then Adjustments, and go down to Threshold. We still have the channel mask selected in our layers. And now I can just adjust this threshold setting according to taste. So as I bring it to the left, it tends to grow a little bit. And if I slide that slider to the right, it sort of eats away at the shape a bit. So, you know, you, you might need to do one or the other, depending on what other artwork you have going on here. But I'm going to kind of move it kind of towards the left so it's a little bit chunkier and I don't lose that little tip on the pointy tip of the tree. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now of course if you want this to be a vector again you can just command click or control click that channel mask once again. Hide the layer that you currently have. Then you can go to paths and then you can make a work path by selecting that middle little icon down at the bottom of your paths panel that creates a actual path from the selection you just loaded. And now you can fill that with whatever color you like. So here we have a totally vector version of my tree and I did this all without leaving Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you today, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this.